Hi, this is Athena Gatmeyer. I am a Crystal Intuitive Twin Flame, and this is my YouTube channel, Crystal Empowerment. You might want to consider subscribing if you're interested in working with crystals through the awakening and ascension process. That's what this channel is all about. Black Tourmaline is a root chakra crystal, and if you're not familiar with the word chakra, it basically means energy wheel or energy center. It's a Sanskrit word. And we have these different energy centers in our body that pull in photonic light from all around us and help us to function in our environment. So it's really, really, really quite beautiful. Now the root chakra is all about protection, security. I guess protection is security, right? It's all about security and having our basic human needs met. So food, water, clothing, shelter, those are the keys to survival. And so that is what the root chakra is very concerned with. And the root chakra, you can work with either black or red crystals on the root chakra. So notice this awesome black tourmaline crystal and the way that it is structured. Basically, the tourmaline is formed in these awesome striated layers and here's what the top kind of looks like. Now that really helps the energy to flow through the crystal, so it's really great at grounding. The way that I like to work with it in my home, because I like feng shui, I like the energy to flow, right? I like to work with the black tourmaline by putting the crystals in the corners of the home to protect the home from intruders, you know, whatever, right? I don't know about people. So just protect the home. So when I moved in here, it's been a year and a half or so ago now, maybe a little longer, I placed black tourmaline crystals in corners all around the house. And I left them there to absorb the negative energy. Now, don't leave them there for a year and a half like I did. Cleanse them often because they do absorb negative energy and it just is going to get stuck there in the corner and you really don't want stuck energy in the corners when it's feng shui right feng shui helps energy to flow you don't want to get stuck in the corners so um i recommend like a round sphere for your corners that will help the energy to flow and then also cleanse the crystals often i mean at least once a month and there's various ways to cleanse your crystals. So I have had kind of a, an interesting first part of the year here, like probably many people. <laughs> but in towards the end of January, I saw a crystal in the corner and I thought, oh my gosh, I gotta get that thing out of there. It's all got cobwebs on it, it's dusty, and I need to move the furniture around. So the way that I started the project was to get the black tourmaline out of the corners. I got the black tourmaline out of the corner and I did a salt water cleanse with that tourmaline for seven days because it really, it really needed it. And um, it wasn't too long later that this energy that I will say is, it was difficult energy for me in my life, was able to move. So if you've been watching my videos, you'll know that um, my dog Kia passed away um, right about that Leo new moon on the beginning of February, February 9th, 10th time frame. And um, she was the energy that needed movement. She was not doing well. She had been sick a long time. And I adopted her as an old, very sick dog. So um, she, she got, we all had been sick in January and it was really just getting annoying by the time February rolled around and, and the dogs had gotten sick. I was like, oh my gosh. There had been so much snow and so much puking that I just, I kind of lost it. I lost it. And I felt bad, but, you know, that's normal. Sometimes you got to go crazy and like, and that's how you get it all out. So honor that if that happens to you, because I, I honor it. I just let it all out. <laughs> and sorry if I've been one of those people that uh, let it out on you. Just know that it's nothing personal. At least I hope it's not. And if it was, I'd tell you. <laughs> So anyway, that's how this black tourmaline energy was getting stuck in the corners. And uh, once I 
took the crystals and cleansed them, the energy was released. And, you know, it kind of had a negative effect on my life there for a little bit. So um, when you're working with crystals, be very cognizant about them and what you're doing with them and keeping them clean and cleansed and clear. So that's my advice to you. I love black tourmaline. I highly recommend it. It's one of my top three favorite crystals behind selenite and clear quartz. I highly recommend it to everyone. It's available on my website. If you want a big chunky piece like this, let me know. I've got plenty of them. Athena at crystalempowerment.com is my email address. Just let me know. Now, I just want to show you this one because it's awesome. <laughs> this is black tourmaline. This is the one I keep on the, the bedroom windowsill. <laughs> and I love it. Look at this. It has like, this looks like a bit of pyrite actually, but I think it's mica flakes and, and quartz. So the quartz in here helps to amplify the power of the black tourmaline. It's awesome. So um, if you're like working with black tourmaline, say in a meditation, um, you're meditating with it. I, I do recommend holding it like this because you can see these striations and they help to um, make the energy, they help channel the energy through the formation of the crystal to ground it to earth, right? So think about that when you're meditating and uh, continue continue to work with crystals because they're awesome and there's so many different ways that you can do it. 